You must be excited. What a mud hole. <laughs> he's excited. It's the day he's been waiting for for years. Look at him cheering. Fist pumping. <laughs> Time you get up today? <clears throat> well, I woke up early, so I thought, let's do it. And this here thing? Yeah, I bought that. Well, it, I barely got it off. Oh, you left the gasket seal uh, in there. I see that too. It's, <clears throat> it's already. How old is that? And it's already leaving its Come gasket on. behind. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So you check the tires. Where's your uh, cross wires? Yeah. This Not only that, you have to wash this. Look at it. Where's it been? Working for you. Working. She's been working. All right, we need... <coughs> Why can't I talk? Okay, we need some binders and chains, which we look like we have. He said to bring four. I've got four. Well, you better bring an extra. Okay, now I get all full of diesel fuel. Get my nice yellow chore gloves all full of fuel. Is there a right and a wrong? I think it only goes in one way. There, the O-ring fell out already. Maybe you don't need the O-ring in there. Ah! That is a very poor design. I'll give it to Fiat for designing something like that. We'll just As Eric there. would say. We'll just lay it in there, because uh, my little fingers aren't up to that. I'm grabbing one more strap, because I don't want to be short. Are you driving? Well, are you going to be Instagramming all day? I don't know what happened. Brody's already asking me if I got a hold of Murphy. Oh boy. Look at my boots now. Now I'm all full of gravel. Those are some nice brunts there, Duggo. The brunts, the black <laughs> version again. <laughs> Suppose we should check tires before our big road trip. Come on. Is this the proper way to test? Look at this gravel, my God. Is your gravel mud? <laughs> Do you have gravel or mud on this yard? You know, last fall with all that mud coming out of the shop with the tracks, it has put a nice uh, eighth to quarter inch of fluffy dust on top. And now we've got that little slick top that sticks. It. Did they see the tires? <laughs> Just sticks they could, on everything? They can see my feet. It's disgusting. You know, if it was Grandpa here, he'd yell at me for scraping my boots on the cement. Yeah, there was a day where that wasn't allowed neither. <laughs> wouldn't believe the training I've had. The and I, I'm to, to I'm, create a dugout. I'm easy compared to what I had. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we ready? But yet you still have a list of shall do and shall not do that's a mile and a half long. Well, there's, whoa, there's right and wrong. <laughs> Where do you put the phone? Where's the phone holders? You here? got your checkbook? Uh, no. You know, pull me up to that slab so my nice clean boots aren't all mudded up again. God, he brought his baloney with. Absolutely. Did you bring two? Just stay out of there now. No. That is all mine. <laughs> it's already baloney time, huh? <laughs> it's past. <laughs> well, so far we've uh, been on the phone most of the way with Brody. We talked to Chris, and now it's baloney time. <laughs> it's a pretty desolate area. We're, we've made it to South Dakota, heading west out of Sisseton. We are crawling one, one impressive hill here. He's complaining about his ears popping, but I think it's just the crunchy baloney. 
No, it's definitely the altitude. <laughs> I'm seeing some uh, scenery. I don't know what that is. <laughs> we should have stopped. It was a little... Part of, being, uh, part of being the driver is not looking around. Just focus straight ahead. Hammer down. There was a little blacksmith shop back there. Did you see it? Oh, by the way, my uh, dump cart hitch is completely revamped. Totally rebuilt. So, we'll see what that looks like. I'm supposed to pick that up tomorrow. I think that we better open up the door and start kicking. We're losing speed here. This can't be right. <laughs> this can't, what is it with you telling us to take gravel roads? How do you change your settings? I don't know, but this this is just like uh, you hear every you once can't. in a while. No, this when, is uh, ridiculous. Well, I drove right into the lake because <laughs> GPS told me to take a left turn. As, as he's continuing to drive down well, this gravel cattle 13, path. 13 miles? You know, paint left on my fender flares. Are we gonna turn around? Uh, and then, then I can't use the computer because it thinks I'm driving, so I can't use my phone. Oh my! CarPlay. How do you run this? That button. It's straight into the town. What did I see up above there? Jamestown? Yeah, we're by Jamestown. Are Hard you kidding? Go. No, we're a long way from home. <laughs> a long way. Are you? Kidding? No, we're probably like I don't know. From looking at it like 30 miles away from Jamestown on some gravel road lost and it's gravel and as far as you can see very hungry because he didn't pack me a bologna sandwich I've got some jerky sticks I told you that this can't be yeah, right we've... there's got to be a highway coming into town <laughs> well there's where we're going what's the name of it it don't tell me the name of the you're it's heading trying to a to, place it's trying to cut down on uh, distracted driving so it don't tell you where you're going or how to get there so then you got to use this thing that confuses you more yet okay we're just gonna lean back and enjoy the drive here <laughs> so down here is the route that it tried to get us to take down a gravel road then we came across the highway gave us another route and now look it we're on a highway all that we had to do was go up this road more and it's we could have been on a highway it's gonna take us five minutes longer <laughs> cost us 10 minutes being on that gravel road for sure but he did use the ladies restroom on the side of the road yeah mine was the left side that's <laughs> where the ladies was <laughs> look at there they're loading corn out of a bag you want to talk about desolate i feel like we live in almost the middle of nowhere but at least there's a town every 30 minutes with like a gas station you can get food at I've been out. starving for the last hour and there's just been nothing nothing does even stop at except the ladies room on the side of the road there was some milk back there <laughs> there was 20 30 little calves having a milk milk lunch look at all the cows out there on the other side of the trees there's a lot of cattle a lot of hog trailers or cattle trailers on the road up here I've never felt so lost <laughs> this is interesting Look at that. Turn left. Then the destination is on your left. What? Are you kidding? We're lost. We are lost. I see things that... I see a Johnson sign there. Recognize... I recognize a few things, but... I hope it ain't that big one over there. Because that thing ain't ever going to fit on our trailer. Turn. You excited? I am. <laughs> the day is finally here. I get my dream. <laughs> Here it comes. I think that's more than the 1086 is going to handle. We are definitely going to have to get something other than the 1086. This was 110% this guy's idea. Well, it's time. I need something <laughs> better than what my dad had to maintain the driveway, so. Now you're getting a tour of all the fun stuff? Well, uh, looking for the future of the upgrades. <laughs> they got scared of the camera. I they see ran that. away. <laughs> you guys ran away. So this yep. is this is the guy that finally 
hook, line, and sinkered you at the farm. Well, I was cornered, and then I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. And that that lit, led us to the middle of nowhere. What is the town name? Colm. Colm? K-U-L-M. North Dakota to uh, Johnson Manufacturing. So we came here to pick up our 14-foot. Yep. Uh, six, six way? Correct. Blade. He's, he's the guy that's been handling all this, so I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Rear end steers, so uh, you, can, you can get the whole blade off to the side of the tractor. Yep. And yep. Almost five feet each way. Yep. 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 There would be more. Oh, right, it'd be a little more with that longer hitch. Longer hitch on your Because you got and hydraulic longer, box in. And the longer yep. hitch is because of the hydraulic box yep. in. Yep. Yep. So you guys are the owners? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And this, this is the, the building that all these come out of. Yep. How many you try to do like a, a month or um, a week? We can do four or five a week. We try to sell 150, 200 a year anyway. Sweet. Yep. And yep. we won't talk about this new one here. Well, <laughs> it's a prototype, so we haven't got it out on the market yet, but that, it is, it is going to be available down in the future. That's why I'm standing with my back to it, because <laughs> uh, I don't want to be the guy that leaks any information uh, out. <laughs> but I can verify that it is huge and it is sweet. <laughs> His welder sounds so much different yeah, than ours. See, <laughs> it's so quiet. See, it sounds like eggs are fried. Yeah, you know, just <laughs> Yep. Oh, what are you doing behind me? Are you learning how to weld? Yeah. Well, I've got some, I, I need to have some lessons, I think. <laughs> is that your last one? No. That's, oh, that's just, not... just to fill it in. Oh, that one is? Yeah. Oh, I'll let you go till you get to, to you, do you do the last one on here too while it's like this? Yep. Okay, that's then let us know when you have the last one done. Yep. Yep. That's it. Okay, that's not the, that's that's not the not last one. product? Nope. Let's finish. Uh, There's last pass. You are a machine. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a that's triple pass. Uh, it's four, here. four. Okay. So that's second or first? Well, there's there's three passes in there. And then I'll put a cover pass like I did on that side on here. Okay. Wow. So I was impressed with their lead time. And this is why. Look at how many they have just set up in parts. Just need to be assembled and painted uh, when an order comes in. More parts here. Other guy welding different components over there. So this is a mow board off of the same size scraper that we just picked up. So it said that they're pre-loading it so that it stays curved right. forward. Just so a little bit. It from warping. Yep. And I asked yep. how they know the technical spec on that, and he just said, as tight as I can tighten that binder. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that answer. <laughs> so this is the piece that he was just welding on. So he's laying in these welds, those welds. Obviously this is the one that uh, we picked up and is totally completed. Now we're gonna load it on the trailer. So basically this thing is uh, got hydraulic box ends on, which I guess is an option, but it can go from a blade to a box scraper by the push of a hydraulic remote, which is a must have for blading the road. That's what box scraper works, but a blade works way better to cut the uh, washboards out of the driveway. And then it's a rear steer, so we can steer it actually off to the side of the tractor too. These will work, right? Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, I got bigger ones. No, too. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, it's time to head our three and a half hour drive back home. We're strapped down good and tight. This is our box end. They leave that off for shipping purposes. Uh, keep us narrow, so we're actually. Uh, much more narrow than the trailer itself so that'll work and I need I still have an eight guys I'm starving looking I'm gonna have to find a gas station oh man it's not as nice as it looks out well it's blowing so ridiculous yeah. out there we're gonna stop and look at a couple of the other ones which have the manual box ends versus this one with the 
hydraulic box. But they still do have the steerable rear end rear RS. End. RS. We've been educated. Well, this is basically, I believe, the same thing as what we have on the trailer. It's 1400 rear steer RS, which articulates this so you can offset it from the tractor, correct? As I understand it, correct. And then the other option is these to be manual or hydraulic like what we have on ours. And obviously it looks like it'd be a pretty simple thing to uh, do this manually, but well, you know, it, I could accidentally fall getting out of the tractor, <laughs> so it's made a lot of sense to get the hydraulic ones for me. So that's what we have. <laughs> Literally when he came home from the farm show, we gotta get one of those, I'm, I'm getting one. Like, well, it's, okay. it's time. It's just time. I uh, can foresee it. Uh, the way they talked is, I mean, it's not it just a road drag. You can make field ditches with it, which I would be super interested if you use our land scraper, cut a bottom, and want to bank it back, just tipping this at an angle and making a deep cut at once. I can, I can see how we're gonna fall it in love with this. Might be just like quick. having a skid loader. Yeah. You use it every day. Well, maybe not every day. He's already been talking about buying his Bearcat Steiger pack from what Wouldn't that be that? something? 1981 Bearcat Series 3. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Cat engine. Wow. That's for another day, though. You left your meat sticks in the sun. Well, I warmed them up so that would take the chill out of the air. Mm. 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 Well, now we get to head home. We're going with the wind though, so we'll be there shortly. We've got to find a gas station. No, no, more gravel. <laughs> we should have turned back there. Oh my gosh. My chicken nuggets are soggy. Well, the hole in the local Senex lot, parking lot, is, uh, the trailer did come out of it, so it's not that deep. Turn left onto Industrial Road. Turn and left. Then turn right. And then right. What do they call a lazy bull? I don't know. A bulldozer. Lazy bull. A bulldozer. So he's dozing off? Apparently. Shouldn't have to think that hard about a joke. <laughs> oh. How is a USB like an elephant? A USB as in a computer thing? What you might call a flash drive yeah. or a stick. That's like an elephant. They both have memory skills. Apparently, <laughs> apparently elephants hope, must be smart, huh? Yeah, that's true, but I hope that thing tastes better than what the jokes are like. Oh, it will do. I think you Unless should be. it's one of them real dried out ones that break your jaw when you bite on it. Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm ready to get out of here. How many miles? 366. Wow. 366. Wow, what a day. What a day of just sitting here. <laughs> Where to park it? They're still working. What's Got the Pro on? Force out. I see the Swede. He's in the cab. I think Umberfirth is here, kind of train him in, in, training him in, setting it up, looking it over. I think they had some updates to do to something. Are we parking her in the shed for now? Well, we're all plugged up up there, so I suppose to the cold storage we go, unless we're gonna hook something. We're narrow enough. Yeah, we're good. Well, she survived. Everything's fiddle string tight still. Do your legs straighten out? I think there might be something the matter with my left hip now. <laughs> okay. no, More I mean, doctor appointments needed? No, no. It <laughs> must just need some exercise. Look at Maybe you need to upsize. I don't know. I think it's just time for spring's work to start so that the polar bear winter belly disappears. So do you want to explain to them how this has been like a multi-year ever since these things started coming out. That's all we've ever heard is, I just wish I had a blade, a decent blade. Well, at, uh, maybe it's because Dad can't tell me no, I uh, can't have one no more. That's what it is. 
Or maybe it's because he yells at you anytime you use the box scraper. That could be. <laughs> and then right. you hate the 1086's blade so bad. My 80 year old dad told his oldest son of 55 years old that I couldn't use his blade, his Kiawani blade no more in his 1086 tractor. No, that's not true, but this is gonna be an improvement. Uh, it's overkill for a driveway blade, but. Um, It'll be used in so many more. We figured why purposes. spend, once again, if you're gonna spend whatever thousands that <laughs> things cost nowadays, if you're gonna spend that, just throw another whatever. 8,000 and get the Cadillac. If you start out buying the Pinto, <laughs> as long as you, you always end up buying the Cadillac. No, that. no, there's common sense. If you wait long enough, you know, 20 years, that's, that's long enough to wait, and then you finally say, I'm buying it. <laughs> and then you could have had the Cadillac back then because inflation takes well, over. Don't get me second guessing my choices in life. <laughs> okay, now look out because the door's gonna close and then it's gonna reopen when you step in the beam. So obviously we haven't used this yet, but it looks super, super heavy built. And if you guys have any interest in researching any of these, uh, check out Johnson Blade dealerships or go to Johnson. I'll put the link in the description just so you can like research what we've done. They have a Facebook page also. And the interweb, I would imagine. Yeah, I suppose all of that. Do you have an interweb page? Not that I know of. I've never looked at Facebook in my life. Don't have one? It's good, because then you'd get on Marketplace, and then we'd really have trouble. I don't know nothing about that. No, nope. that's why we keep it that way. Okay, well, <laughs> sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to go see what Eric knows, and we're going to see in the next video. We'll maybe get that out, get something set up. We might take the snowblower off for the second time. Do what? you think if I show him something else what? on the shed that uh, nobody has fessed up to, from last winter. <laughs> last I, winter, not this winter when we didn't get any snow like a we, while ago. We didn't say anything or I never mentioned nothing because I've been waiting for the guy to, that did it and it wasn't me. <laughs> it was not me either. But uh, it doesn't really matter because it's wrecked but uh, see the hole, uh, we all remember that night. Yeah. And now, uh, <laughs> nobody fessed up. <laughs> I know it wasn't me. It's definitely, it, it used to have yellow paint on it, so it came from an MDS snow bucket. Yeah, you can see the little bit of yellow there. So, somebody's got a story. It's always the stories that never get told. Whatever. Smash and ram into it. Wreck it. Whatever. Man. You sure have it. a different attitude now after it's been a year. Just don't do my <laughs> new shop. <laughs> then we're gonna have a different talk. All right, before he gets ornery, we're gonna sign off. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.